Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to use the cookie bar extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I'm going to go ahead to get it and draw on an empty space in the canvas. So by default, without changing anything of this extension, once I preview this in my browser, I realize I have my cookie bar showing in here. So let's come back and take a look at how to change the properties or some of the options of this particular extension. So from the start of the properties available, we have the accept button, which allows you to accept the cookies. And then the message that you have over here by default is understand, I understand. So in case you want to change that from I understand to anything else, you can go ahead to change that maybe accept or anything at all. So next we have accept to continue. So this allows the visitor or user to accept the cookies again whenever he or she visits a different page. And then you also have scroll to accept. So on scroll to accept as when you scroll on your page and then automatically accept so that it probably disappears or stays there depending on the settings you have and then you also have click any to accept so you click anywhere on your page to accept the cookies um, you have that has the cookies bar on your page and then you also have append position so this allows you to change the position of your cookie bar so once you enable this you can go ahead to change the position to um, bottom or you could actually leave it at the top depending on how you want it so that's what the append position and then the bottom allows you to do so auto enable allows you to automatically have the cookies automatically set itself to accept so after some few seconds it accepts and then um, you are able to um, continue browsing a page and then you also have the climb button so the decline button you can turn it on you can turn it off and then you can change the text that is going to display for the decline button as well so you can also change this to um, probably maybe disable disable cookies whatever you want to change it to, you can go ahead to change it to that and then you also have um, the effect how do you want the cookie bar to come into it by default it's slide so you can change this to fade or hide and then you have the expiry day so this is by default as a yes so in case you want to change that you can go ahead to change that and then you have fix so the fix allows the cookie bar to stay in position so let me turn this to off and then what i'm going to do next is i'm going to generate some text information on the page to give me scroll bar so let me just double click on this go ahead and preview this page and as you can see realize by default i'm um, not by default it was actually on enabled and i disabled it so you realize that the page was scrolling as uh, alongside the cookie bar so in case i want to change that I come back to the fix that i turn this to true and then once i preview this realize it stays in place and then also um, we probably might want to have this at the bottom of the page so you can go ahead to turn on the bottom and then you preview to realize it has moved to the bottom of the page next we have for show so for show allows you to still have the cookie bar shown regardless the user's um selection depending on the previous visit to the site so once you turn this to enable the cookie bar is still going to show and then you have a message so that is what you see over here in case you want to change that you can go ahead to change that in here as well as you have the policy button so this allows you to add a button which is going to direct users to a specific page which has more information about how you go about um, users privacy on your website and then you also have um, how to that's where you change the link for that particular page as well as renew on visit so whenever the user um, visits the page again or the site again the cookie um, is going to be renewed as well as you have the z index which allows you to um, set the position for your um, cookie bar now aside these properties the next you have here is the style where you get to um, that is style up the cookie bar just a little bit so in case you want to change the background color you want to change the color of the text the buttons over here yeah, these are the ways by which you can actually go about to change that to have the cookie bar set to something that meets what you want so probably what you might want to do is maybe change the height of it um, change the buttons maybe stick to two buttons depending on what exactly you want to do um, this is how you can actually go to um, do that so this has the names of the buttons it also has the names of the respective uh, properties of the cookie bar so the background the color and the text the text type as a font family you can specify that also over here and then hoover once you put your case on it how does it show what well, how should it uh, be rendered and the rest so these are the various ways you can actually go about customizing your cookie bar 
um, extension in Wizu Web Builder. So go ahead and try it out and let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.